Much needed, Sean, thanks. Well, a story about allegations against Burlington High School's director of guidance has turned into one about censorship. It really has. The first reporters to break the story for teenagers at the high school. As the rest of us have reported out the information, it's been taken down from the school newspaper's website. The editors say they've been censored. What was once a major scoop is now a defiant message on the Burlington High School Register website. It reads, this article has been censored by Burlington High School administration. I think it's been a lot of learning for us as journalists. Julia Shannon Grillo is one of the editors of the school paper. Monday night, she and three other editors published an article detailing why the Vermont Secretary of Education believes the director of guidance at the high school should have his license suspended for close to a year. Then Tuesday morning, our principal texted our advisor, uh, Ms. Fialco, that he wanted us to take the article down and we said no. And then he said, I need you to remove the article right now. So the editors did, not because they thought they had done anything wrong, but because they felt pressured. At that point, we weren't sure what was going to happen to our advisor if we uh, didn't remove the article. They were out in front on this story and, you know, I give them two big thumbs up. Mike Donahue is executive director of the Vermont Press Association. He questions whether the principal's actions are a violation of the New Voices Law, signed last year that includes protections for all student journalists in Vermont. I don't know if it's they don't know, they haven't followed education law and know that they aren't supposed to be doing this, or whether the, this is just a, a flagrant violation that we don't care what the law is. Donahue tells me he has since spoken with Principal Noel Green, who said he was relying on a part of the law that states it does not authorize content that creates an imminent danger of substantially disrupting the ability of the school to perform its mission, something Donahue disagrees with. The law is designed to also cover censorship and everything like that and protect students and their, their advisor or teacher who is helping them uh, because Teachers have been fired because of things printed. Our students had a right to know about that. All important stories create some sort of effect, and that doesn't mean the story shouldn't be published. The students say they are meeting with the school principal on Friday to discuss the situation. They've also been speaking with a lawyer from Student Press Law Center. Yeah, we've reached out to Principal Green and the superintendent today, but we've not heard back yet from either of them. If you want to check out our coverage of the allegations against the guidance director, visit our website, mychamplainvalley.com. Well, taking a look